Hello folks, Niall here from the Football Club. I hope you and your family are keeping well and looking forward to getting back to some normality. I'm sure a few of you are like me and will be happy to see the hairdryers opening soon. We are going to, to be doing a few short clips um, explaining what we're doing um, for players to have a safe return to, um, to football. What we need you the parents and the players to follow with regards to football training and matches. Um, the, the way football um, was played and the way training was, was, was organised um, back in March is going to be very different in the future. We are working off two sets of guidelines but both, both of these are following what the local government and public health guidelines are. Um, first of all we are, we are following our governing bodies advice and guidelines and this covers all football matters, coaching, training, matches and spectators. And then we are also following the Middle Ulster Council guidelines and this will cover how we use the facilities run by the council and what rules we have put in place. Um, as, as you've been seen in recent weeks, these guidelines change a lot and sometimes each day or week by week. First of all, I have to, I have to say yes, uh, we are allowed to start um, drilling what we as a club need to make it clear to every parent that is, that is totally voluntary and your child does not need to attend any training sessions at all. If you still don't feel it is ready to go back, we respect your decision. Um, also, if, you're, if you or a family member is in the shielding bracket, it's maybe not um, a good idea to um, send your child to, to, um, to training. Why would you? Just to get a smile in their face or, or, or to make them happy at this moment in time? Personally, if that was me and I was shielding, I'd want to see them happy and smile in years to come and not take a risk of bringing something into my house at the minute and not see that. Hello folks, uh, return to training uh, for Cookstown Youth is starting back. Um, every parent um, or guardian um, has uh, four things to um, do before, uh, before they can do that. You will receive your uh, return to training form. It needs to be filled in and returned to the um, the uh, coach. Or it's, if it's online, you just uh, fill it in online. Uh, you must read the documents that's come with it. There will be um, an IFA guidance for parents, IFA guidance for um, players, and there also will be a Cookstown Youth Return to Training guidance. Those um, are critical information in all those documents. Please read through them all in full and um, read through them with your with your child um, as as well. Um, every every team has their own COVID officer. The team manager should inform you who your COVID officer is. Um, in those forms, it refers a lot to the COVID officer. So if you have any issues, you can direct you can. Um, um, speak to your COVID officer directly. Um, if, you, if you need any advice with regards to the, uh, with, with, with regards to the current situation, you can um, uh, direct them to him only. And uh, if you have any other, any other questions, you can just ask him as well. Each team um, has been assigned a COVID-19 officer. Um, your coach or manager will let everyone know who that person is. The role of the officer is to ensure all team members and uh, coaches adhere to the um, guidelines and enforces um, the guidelines where it needs to be. Um, he is also, or he or she is also responsible for updating the group on any changes that uh, that will come along um, through week to week. This will be done once a week, and it will be only it only come from the officer. Once you arrive at the pitch entrance, can you please use the hand sanitizer that's provided, and can you and you'll also have your uh, your your temperature taken, and your coach will ask you to go and stand at a home station. A home station will be a cone. And a home station is where you can leave your water bottle, your your training kits, uh, whatever you don't need um, when you're training. Um, that home station will be your 
your station for the full for the full session. Uh, any water breaks that are taken, you need to return to that station. You also receive a overhead photograph of the middle for sports training. This this uh, points out key key points of entry and exit. Um, it also uh, it also uh, points out where the drop off drop off point and the pick up point for your for your child is. Um, when you enter the car park, if you can keep to the left hand side. Once you go over the the uh, the, the, the uh, cattle grid or the barriers, keep to the left. Go around the car park and drop your child off at the at the five side area, um, and uh, let them access the car and make their way to the to the uh, the pitch they're on. If they're over at the GAA pitch. Please keep to the left hand side going to the pitch and coming from the pitch. You see signs like this um, on your way to the GAA pitch, so please keep to the left, keep to the left hand side at all times. Um, one of the biggest uh, um, biggest changes is that um, only key personnel are allowed in and around the pitches at the minute. Um, so once you drop your child off, if you want to, to, to sit in the car park in your car, you can do so. If you want to go for a walk around the Around the sports arena, you can do so, but you're not allowed anywhere in or around the football pitch. Um, that's spectating and um, in, um, watching the, uh, the training taking place. If you fail the temperature check, you will be asked to exit through the exit gate. But I asked parents, once they drop their child off, to wait for five minutes at the, at the pickup point. And if your child does not return within five minutes, he has passed his he has passed his test and you can and you can uh, leave the premises. Once the session is finished, please return to your home station, use your hand sanitizer, take all your belongings and then exit through the exit gate and go to the pickup point.